they got to do it or I done it. I'm always up to something cause my God is always gunning. Hey, hey. You can take a look around or I can tell you I'm coming. What up everybody, it's your boy Chuck Diesel, aka Lone Wolf, tapping in once again for another installment to the Lone Wolf Chronicles. Now, if you don't know, the Lone Wolf Chronicles is a series that I started up, wow, a month ago now. I can't believe it's been a month. But every Wednesday, I'm posting a new song until I run out of music, so it could last for the next six months, year, five years, who knows. Every Wednesday, tap in. And so I just want to do a quick breakdown of what the song means to me. So every week, along with every song, I'm going to do a video the following Friday to just go over how I came up with the song and just some history around it and the facts. Because like, we always get these songs, we get bangers, and we listen to them, but we never know what the artist was truly thinking when they made the song or why. So I want to bridge that gap between just being a fan of someone's music and liking a song and actually understanding someone a little bit better through this song without having to portray yourself like I like to think that my songs are open-ended enough so you can apply it but at the same time like I'm always curious as what was that nigga thinking when he wrote that so my last post was a song called who run it and this song is kind of funny and just how I came up with it is I, I had a song all ready to go, was ready to record it, and I changed the lyrics while I was standing at the microphone. And so originally it went, um, uh, it originally went, so it originally went, you can take a look around or I could tell you how I'm coming. You looking at the answer if you want to know who run it. And when I got in the booth, I had just been thinking a lot lately about music and just like the substance within music. And I was reading a book or in my Bible or something just about the idea of the self meaning so much. And that's why your thoughts are guided a certain way and you seem to have a cover. It's like you get blindfolded. And when I got to the booth, I was like, you know, I'm going to change that. If you're looking for the answer, or if you want to know who run it, Christ will be the answer. Like, just some something inside of me was like, I'm going to change that because I'm not truly the boss. Like, the world was already shaped and predestined, but I'm out here. <laughs> like, early in the morning, I'm up on it. And I'll wake up in the morning and I'm like, thank God I'm still alive because you never know. You could have died. Like, you could be locked up, you could be in a mental institution, you never know. So it's like every morning I wake up and I was like, thank God I'm still here. All right, now let's go get it. I gotta make a play, like. And so pretty much that's what the song, the whole song ended up being for me. It's just like a affirmation of life. <laughs> and the fact that I'm still here so like an acknowledgement and a thank you to God for the fact that I'm here. And then the motivation to say, let's get up and let's go get to it, so like, you could take a look around and you can see I'm working or I can just tell you straight up that I'm working. But if you want to know who the boss is, really, it's not even me. God's the one running it. <laughs>